Welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making bourbon and brown sugar steak. So I'm going to make the marinade. Now you can skip, skip the step of heating it up. It does turn out better if you do because it, it melts the, the brown sugar. So I'm going to use a half a cup of brown sugar, a quarter of a cup of bourbon, A quarter of a cup of soy sauce. And some Worcestershire sauce. I'm just going to sprinkle about a half a tablespoon in there. Some Dijon mustard. I'm just going to put a squirt, probably a little less than a teaspoon. And then a quarter of a cup of honey. And I'm going to turn this on medium. Mix this all together and I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer. Okay, you just want to get this hot enough so that the sugar melts. Then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of diced onion. And then I have two cloves of minced garlic and just a tiny piece of fresh ginger. If you don't have fresh ginger, you can use the dry ginger. I would just add like a quarter of a teaspoon. And I'm just going to let this simmer for about one more minute. Okay, then I'm just going to pour that into a bowl and let that cool completely before I put my meat in there. Okay, while I'm waiting for my marinade to cool, I have a pound of steak tips that I got at the butcher shop. I'm just going to cut these into pieces, about one inch pieces. And I'm just going to put those in my cooled off marinade. And make sure that they're all coated and down in the marinade. Then I'm going to cover this and put it in the refrigerator for at least one hour. The longer you let them marinate, the better they are. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. And I took the steak tips out of the refrigerator about 15 minutes ago to let them warm up a little bit we have the grill started so i'm going to take my steak tips out put them in a bowl kind of drain off some of the marinade they smell delicious already Then I'm going to put the rest of the marinade in a saucepan and I'm going to heat this up till it's at least 200 degrees to kill off the bacteria. While it's heating up, I'm just going to add about a half a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. A little bit more Dijon mustard, just a pinch. A little bit of Worcestershire. And a little bit of salt and pepper. And just let it warm up. Okay, we've got the grill all heated up and we're just going to put the steak tips on there and we're going to flip them about every two minutes so that they don't burn and cook them for 
10 to 12 minutes. We like them about medium. Um, so I'll be back and show you what they look like. Okay, it's been about two minutes and we're gonna flip those and just keep flipping them so that all sides get cooked. Okay, so I brought my sauce up to a boil. I'm just gonna pour it in these little cups to use as a dipping sauce. And our steak has come off the grill. If you wanted to use more bourbon, you could, or you don't have to use it at all if you don't want to. It still would taste good. These are super easy to make. I hope you give them a try. Please like, share, and subscribe as that does help out our channel. And I will see you on the next one.